only your connection to God, to love, to life itself, can provide the protection to go through these experiences in total safety and peace in your heart and mind. It is the peace of your mind and your heart that will carry you through the experience no matter how long it lasts. That is why the relatively minor trials and difficulties that you are experiencing you now that you are experiencing now will prepare you for the greater events no matter how or when they occur if you cannot see the perfection in your minor aches and pains or even in your major difficulties because losing a job losing a house losing a spouse all of these different types of losses have a major effect on your mind your emotions and on your body so you must learn to deal with these difficulties from a consciousness that is expanded and expanding into perfection you must learn to see all of these events as part of a perfect process totally guided by God I'm sure you have heard before there are no accidents and this is true my beloveds there are no accidents for that would mean that the world is governed by chaos and random activity and such is not the case there is no random activity in your life every event every person that you meet every experience that you undergo is divinely orchestrated so that you may learn all that you have to learn in order to become your true self your whole self and to ascend with this planet into the new earth as I have said many times before and I will repeat many times more this can be a joyful and easy process you alone determine how you will experience this process you can go through it kicking and screaming and resisting all the way or you can dive right in go with the flow not be concerned about understanding anything that what is happening but just accepting that it is all right and that it is going to be better many of you have done things in your past that you regret I say to you now forgive yourself completely for all of those things for I have already forgiven you God in all dimensions 
and in all conceptions has already forgiven you because forgiveness is the nature of God God does not require you to pay penance but God asks that you do not repeat your errors that you forgive yourself and that you forgive all others for what they have done to you because all of your actions and all of the actions of every human being that has ever incarnated on this planet has been part of a great learning process that is now coming into a time of graduation for all of those of you who have attended a graduation ceremony for your own graduation you know that when you go to the graduation ceremony you do not take your books with you you do not take anything with you from all those years of your study you come clothed in a new robe that you are wearing for the very first time and the only time and you walk upon the stage and you see your teachers or those representing your teachers and they smile at you and congratulate you for all the wonderful work that you have done that has enabled you to graduate this is what the ascension will be like for many of you you will meet many of those teachers and guides that you have had throughout your many incarnations they will not ask you to bring anything to them other than yourself and you will be clothed in a new body of light and you will be congratulated for all the wonderful work that you have done no one will ask you to pay any karma no one will ask you to pay penance no one will ask you to do or give anything you must come with a free and light heart you must come having forgiven yourself and having forgiven all others for everything that has ever transpired in any lifetime so this is part of the spiritual work that will prepare you to experience the changes upon the earth wherever you are located in the most harmonious fashion possible 